So on to the second example. Now this time we're using an example where we have a known population standard deviation. So a known population standard deviation, this means in a problem where we're allowed to make an assumption. And in this case, we're told we're allowed to assume that the SAT scores have a standard deviation of 333. Now that means that we can assume this gives us a value of sigma, the population standard deviation, and so it allows us to use the Z distribution. So here we're looking at a sample of 125 with a mean of 1522, so a mean value of 1522 where we have a, a number in the sample of 125. So we're asked here to find confidence intervals. We need a 95% confidence interval and a 90% confidence interval, and we're considering which of those is the widest. So because we know the population standard deviation, it means we can use our confidence interval with a z-score. So we'll write down here the sample size, 125, we have x bar, the mean value, 1522, and we have sigma, which is 333. So if we write down our formula for the confidence interval, we can write down the 95% confidence interval will be equal to the x bar value plus and minus. Now this time we're needing um, the z score for an alpha value of 0.05, 95% confidence interval means alpha is 0.05, and so alpha over 2, when we divide by 2 to put half at each end, and that value multiplied by sigma divided by the square root of n. So that's our general formula. Notice again that that formula is made of three parts, the, the mean value that we're given, the z score that we've got to calculate, and that sigma divided by square root of n, which is the standard error. So let's work out sigma divided by the square root of n. For that, we have 333 three, three multiplied by the square root of 125. So we can calculate 333 three, three divided by the square root of 125. That's our standard error measure. To find that z-score for the 95% confidence interval, you can either use tables or Excel. Many of you will know this already, and that 95% confidence interval value is 1.960, 1.960. So we can write that z-score down, and of course the x-bar value, the mean value that we're given, is 100, 1,522. So we have 1,522 plus or minus the z-score multiplied by the standard error. So the calculations involved there, make use of Excel here or your calculator, we will have 1.960 multiplied by the standard error measure, and that standard error measure comes out at 29.784. So we need to multiply that 1.96 by 29.74. So writing down again the x-bar value, we have the product of those two, 58.38 to two decimal places. And so the upper limit is found by adding those two together and the lower by subtracting. So 1522 plus 58.38 will give us 1580.38 and 1522 minus 58.38 will give us 1463.62. Use a calculator or Excel for that. Now to find the 90% confidence interval, again here, notice we're using alpha equals 0.1. So to find the correct z-score for this one, we need to use x-bar plus or minus the z-value for 0.1 divided by 2, that's 0.05, multiply again by sigma divided by the square root of n. So the only change here is the critical value of z that we're using. So again, we can write down that mean, 1522, plus or minus, and again, this is a common value for z. You may know this already. We can write it down, 1.645. You can use tables or Excel to get that critical value. And dividing the 333 for the standard deviation by the square root of 125. Again, that calculation on the right-hand side has to be done first. So 1522 plus or minus 1.645 multiplied by a value which is 
29.784. So multiplying those two together, we get 49.00. So 1522 plus or minus 49.00 to two decimal places. And that gives us a lower interval value of 1473 and a higher upper interval value, the upper limit of the confidence interval, 1571. Now notice here that we have the 95% confidence interval and the 90% confidence interval. Which of those is the widest? And the wider interval will be the 95% interval is, of course, wider than the 90% confidence interval. And this will always be the case. If nothing else changes, the 95% confidence interval will be wider than the 90% confidence interval.